Are your mods not working as intended in Hogwarts Legacy? Let's help with that. If you've never modded this game before, you should check out the first modding guide video up here. As usual, be sure to pause when you need to, because we're going to go quick. Here's what you need. Your Windows device. Sorry Steam Deck users, as of this video, there isn't a working mod merger program that functions for me, so you have to wait for a fix or maybe pop onto our Discord where someone can help you merge the mods, probably me. Stay tuned though for a fix. A Nexus Mods account. If you haven't created one, be sure to check that guide mentioned earlier, which covered how to do so. Let's go. Step one, go to www.nexusmods.com slash Hogwarts Legacy and log in. Then download the mod merger. Do this by searching up top using the magnifying glass, typing in mod merger. After that, click the title, then click the button manual, then slow download. The download should start automatically after a few seconds. Open that .zip file and copy or extract the files into a new folder. I suggest making a folder called Mod Merger in the Hogwarts Legacy main folder. If you're not sure how to do that, just open Steam, search Hogwarts Legacy in the left side of your library, then right click the title, hover over Manage, then select Browse Local Files. After copying the files over, run the Hogwarts Mod Merger.exe file. Don't worry, I'm not trying to steal your Bitcoin, just trying to get you to give it to me willingly. Step 2. Search Nexus Mods for the mods you need that wouldn't normally install in the Tilda Mods folder. Download them the same way you did in Step 1 with the Mod Merger. Again, I suggest placing them in a new folder so that you can easily find them, maybe one inside the Mod Merger folder that you made in the last step. If you're unsure whether the mod needs to be merged, you can just download it and we'll go over that in Step 3. I'm going to be using these mods here. Step 3. Go back to the mod merger folder you made in Step 1. Then run Hogwarts Mod Merger.exe. You shouldn't have to run the other applications in the folder, but if you run into errors, the mod merger should prompt you. Once the app is open, click the Add button, then search for each mod you downloaded in Step 2. If you get a red box with the exclamation point, you need to click the box to patch the file. Otherwise, things won't work. Do that each time you add a new mod. Don't save the patching till the end. If you add a mod that doesn't need merging, like a visual wand mod, you'll get a pop-up that says it doesn't need merging. So then you can just place that mod in the tilde mods folder separately. Once you've finished adding each mod that you want to merge and there are no red boxes or red lines, click the preview merge changes, then build merged mod. You'll get another pop-up showing that it's complete. Step four, inside that mod merger folder, open the output folder. Then you'll see a file name zmergedmods underscore p dot pak. Cut and paste or copy that file into your tilde mods folder. Because it can really get confusing if you merge more than just a few mods together, I suggest keeping the original unmerged mods in that separate folder in case you need to add a new mod into the mix or get rid of a mod that you don't like anymore. The good news here is if you're just adding another mod, you can use that merged file zmergedmods with new mods that you download, meaning you could just combine two files or three files instead of merging all of the files again together. Step five, that's it. Boot the game up. Enjoy being the most powerful witcher wizard in history. As always, thanks for watching. Sub for more content. Check out the links in the description below. And why not check out the original Hogleg modding guide here if you haven't already. See you next time for more games, gadgets, and guides. GG.